Hello everybody, my name is Cal Sinez from Cal Micro Company. Right now we're going to learn a new computer drafting right now online. It is called Onshape. So Onshape is an online platform that you can actually use the computer drafting. Um, it is a little more above easy level besides Tinker, Tinkercad. From the pre previous one, Tinkercad is basically a beginner's um, um, understanding how you use the computer drafting, how the computer drafting works from the inside of the software. But most of the time, there's like a lot of different different um, computer drafting is out there because it varies what type of um, the job it can do, what type of you're looking for. There's a lot of different type of of computer drafting that is out there because it depends on what type of job you're in. It depends on if you're a mechanical engineer, type of engineers, civil engineers, electrical engineers. Then there's also some for aerodynamics, which is for for um, flights. Then some for vehicle engineers. I think that was the automotive industries. Then another one's toward the anatomy too as well. There's a lot of different anatomy they do. Most of the engineering toward that direction too as well, but it's not that very, it's kind of rare for that one. But I think they are transversing into that direction right away. So there's a lot of different type of engine, type of computer draftings out there, but it depends on what type of job you're doing right away. So it depends what you're doing right now. Um, it, it varies. So right now, let's go continue with this new video. Right now we're gonna do on shape. That'll be your first lesson of how you use the on shape a lot more advanced area. Right now, if you're in the, this one is toward the, um, elementary to high school level and beginners college and that this is a, a easy way for you to understand how it works before you proceed the other other um softwares that's much more challenging much lo a lot more advanced to, um tools and features and it does take a while for it to actually understand maneuver it back and forth back and forth because again that was a lot more advanced but right now we're going to learn understand it from here on on shape so so once you um oh wait and also to on shape is an online internet source it's not an offline uh, software like other computers you have to have internet source to actually continue using that software right away it is for free but you had to include some features that you had to pay for and also add some uh, pay for the premium form to access more of the other features as well but right now let's continue with this new software which is the on shape so right now you need to do is open up your internet source right here which I already have all you have to do is open it then what you do is type it in under on shape. So B O N S H A P E. Um, that the way it'll give you to the main source. Once you got from here, you'll find it as it'll be the main first, which is onshape.com. If you don't see it on the first beginning, don't worry. You can actually go on this side to actually find. Nope. Okay, there's nothing on there. And usually it should be in the first first big, big uh, for the first top. So that way that's the main one on on shape. There we go. Okay, there we go. So now. Um, this is where you get into right now. This is the main page that gives you like what they do, what they're interested, and what type of areas that you're looking for. So there's product solution, pricing, resources, and blog, which right now we'll get to that later on if you're interested in, in continuing with this uh, this service that you're looking to right now on, on, on Shape. So there's a lot of uh, different areas right here that you can do versus others that you don't, that doesn't have much of the what it does, what it can do. So it has to give you what they they offer right away on the on the software. Because again, softwares for computer drafting has a lot more different areas that it depends on like again your work, but also depends on what you're looking for is the biggest answer. Is like if you're looking for simulations, if you're looking for a movable part components, if you're a mechanical engineer, civil engineer, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, and yeah, that's the only way you have to like understand what type of computer drafting is out there or what type of software is there you're looking for that has to make it easier for you for you um in your position or your job so okay so first thing you do is sign in right here i'm going to sign in usually it'll say like um a uh, new new account so if it says don't have an account now uh, you do sign up I already signed up for this on shape so i'm okay so you do sign up onto here and that it'll transfer to another area Let's see, it should send you to. Okay, here we go. So if you're on the on ship right here, it'll take you to the sign in or request for a new one. You'll be using the. Let's see here. It should say um, free. Let's see. Hold on. Okay, then. So previously, I 
did say that you have to sign in onto the Onshape now that you'll continue on using the service. Um, right now, all you have to do is just go over here onto the top corner where it says Request Trial and click onto that one. Once you get into this one, you have these options right here on these three sections. We have the Student, Educator, and the Hobbyist. So basically these two are the ones, or well, actually this is ready to buy, so you don't have to worry about that one. Um, this is basically just a Request Trial. This is basically about for 30 days or 14 days. Usually it should say 30 days, but right now, 40 days trial if you want to give it a shot on the Onshape and if you are interested you click on these two either hobbyist study student or educator but I would rather recommend using the hobbyist that'll be easier to educate through right away to actually um, not worry about the student educator educator um, it depends if your school or education is, is allowed to actually use this one you have to use the student education because it does require for you to actually get in contact and stay connected with the um, the student educator part so if you're in a high school you have to go for that one uh, um, and the hobbyist, hobbyist one is just basically a free trial too as well if you want to use that one to actually um, continue using this one for free if you are if you got used to this on shape that one you all you do is just assign that one then that, that you'll use that one that one should be just easy straight through but it depends on if you really really want it um, this is the only one you have to use it because it is for free and you will have this count for a long long time but if you want to use it for a short t term um, like a schedule or for like a semester one this is the one you'll be using will be the student educator which is the edu plan it'll give you the guidelines of how far you want to use it for for this education if you're a high school or a um level it'll give you like a certain amount of days for the for the how many long you want to use it for per, per day so that's one thing so not that what you can do is just follow this information uh type in your information about it i'm not going to include that one right now because uh um for for privacy reason now that uh, once you include everything else onto here, which is your name, email, which is your uses for this one, the trial, company, job. Company means that what type of area or the, the company you're into. Like if you're in a job, you might be working for this type of person or this company you're, you're working with. Or school. School is still the same thing as company. If you're in a high school, you have to in insert the, the, the school's name and for college name too as well if you have to do that one. Job title. If you have no job title, um, basically you'll be uh, signing as student hobbyist and what type of job title do you have so that's on your side phone number that was one thing you need to add and include your phone number and then what you hear about us is the one you have to like include like what do you hear it from like myself uh, a professor maybe a teacher that they say recommend this one a flyer maybe on an ad all the above they answer these ones right here the you have to proceed with the agreement to actually uh, accept the terms and no, I'm not a robot basically the terms are basically like if you use this um, software for a long period of time you're going to use this for a educational purpose that is being intended to use and for other hobbyist reasons too as well if you're intended to use this one on shape for uh, components and parts for either whatever you're doing right now on your side so that's on your side okay that's all i have for now uh, continue on with the video apologies for that okay then. so now once you sign in everything else and you look through the information because i don't know what's on your side um it's been a while i haven't seen it on my side because i already actually have an account so it's kind of like varies differently what it is on your side so you have to like answer as much questions as you can don't worry it should be quick and easy right away like a few minutes or five minutes i just answer some few questions that's it nothing important it's just asking you for your name number phone number email and what type of um resources you're using it for like for example, are you a student, hobbyist, educator, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. So that's one thing it'll ask you right away to actually answer the information. So uh, once you get to that one, you will have an email. It'll say verify email, so that we actually get verified on Onshape. So that way you'll continue on using the service and the product. Once you got into that one, enter your password, what you want to use. Depends on your side, and that's it. Now that way you do is sign on and you continue on. And once you get to this on shape on your own profile, this should be blank right here, and this one should be blank right here as well. And this is what it looks like for your on shape. So this is what it looks like. You have the create button right here, which you have to um, you got to begin your first work. You'll be create going to create um, on shape documents. Then you make your own folders too as well, and then you can actually import files, import from the cloud service, and labels. Then you have these other options too as well. Recently open, it'll give you like a history of what you have done recently and would you have open uh, right away created by me is only for you that you created yourself and that you made your own um design and your and uh computer drafting on on the on shape 
what is being shared to you that's another lesson too as well that'll be later on in the future because that one you usually share with me because it'll share if people has this account on on shape which is easier all you have to do is just share the uh, information to individuals and they'll learn how to like connect one another communicate one another and if you have a team or something else that's like a like a like an example yeah like a team that one you use up for that option to actually have them look at your profile and they'll see like okay this is what they do you can make, make changes on their side and you can modify on their side onto your work so I'll, that one will be later on in the future if you are interested in uh, continuing the service of the cal Smarter company 3d printing then you go for the public the public it, this one does go outside you have an option to actually hide it or you can actually present it it doesn't matter it depends on your side then you have trash if you want to trash your assignment so it's okay that's all there is then you have these two icons too as well. One's the list view, one's the icon view or grid. Once you click onto that one, that becomes a grid mode right here to actually see what you did on your design. List view, this is the one that makes it easier for you to actually look into it. And this is the one that says last open as you can see it. That's okay. Uh, that's one that you've been modified for the past few days maybe. And after that, these are the ones down here that you have done recently from your pre previous projects. So if you have done these options right here from the previous pass, you can actually go back and do it, redo the whole uh, work and you, know, you will continue working on those um, components right away. They have these other options too on top, App Stores and Learning Center. App Stores is the one that you actually modify your on-shape profile. So it gives you the option of like simulations, if you want to do a simulation on your, your models, if you want to do add more additional motion onto it, animation, a lot of addition that you have to use for your computer depends on what you're doing, that's your own way. Learning Center is the actually provide different types of service, what you're looking for, and also what you're trying to look learn to as well further ahead. If you if I don't cover most of the areas on the on shape, it depends on what they're looking for too as well on your side. Then you have the profile on this side too as well, which is your side, which is your account, support tickets, and sign out. So um, that's your that's all there is. Then you have this option right here. So the subscription is free. So you have this right here down below. It should be free, free. That's it. It shouldn't say anything else about how many days you have to get to use it for, for like 30 days or anything like that. It should say free. If you don't do that, I think somewhere you can probably click different type of icons before, which is when you're trying to sign up for an account. So you might choose the other options. But again, it should work, work right away if you're a hobbyist student. Um, it should be free right away. So now you can actually use this option right away. Then you have to try professional and upgrade. These only have to buy this on your own wallet. Um, the reason for that is because if you want to go a little more further ahead, if you want to learn more tools, more features, and uh, if you don't have the tools and features that you've seen from the other videos from the other Tinker or Onshape, they you have to like learn a little more further ahead on on the how you how everything else works. So, um, but these are the two options that you have to use for try professional and upgrade. Okay, now that's it. Congratulations on your first account on Onshape. We'll continue this on next time with another video how to proceed on, how to use the, the software, how it works, how it functions, and that, that will continue on from there. Okay, and that's all I have for now. Have a good day. Bye.